Imagine. It's your wedding day. The happiest day of your life. Everything perfect, but then it all falls apart. What would you do if the ground fell from beneath your feet? What could you do? Nothing. I'm Mark Berglund, and this is the Versailles Wedding Hall Disaster. May 24th, 2001. This was the wedding day of Karen and Asaf Daror. They wanted this to be the perfect wedding. They spent six months planning and invited nearly 700 people. Little did they know they were about to experience the worst civilian disaster in Israel's history. When the wedding guests started dancing in time, the combined weight of nearly 400 people was enough to cause the third story floor to fall, crashing through the second story to a hard stop at the bottom. 23 people were killed and 380 people were injured. The wedding hall was originally intended to have one side three stories while the other side only two. However, near the end of its construction, the building owners decided they wanted both sides to be three stories. This meant the floor that collapsed was originally designed to be merely a ceiling, not nearly as strong as it should have been. Furthermore, the building owners removed some of the interior walls beneath the third story floor, causing it to sag. They primarily considered this a cosmetic issue, so they leveled the floor by adding additional grout and fill. This not only failed to fix the underlying issue, but actually made it worse by adding additional weight. Each floor and ceiling was constructed using the method known as pal cal which is a lightweight and cost-effective design employing a waffle pattern made with thin layers of sheet metal and cement. The metal was only one millimeter thick. Combine this with fast and cheap construction and you get a recipe for disaster. The inventor of the pal cal method, Eli Ron, was sentenced to four years in prison for causing 23 deaths and 300 injuries by negligence. Two of the wedding hall owners were sentenced to 30 months in prison, while the third was given four months community service and a four month suspended sentence. What added to the audacity of this whole situation was how preventable it was, but the warning signs were ignored. No engineer was consulted when removing the supporting walls. The sagging floor was disregarded. Even the pow cow method itself was outlawed five years prior, but no efforts were made to fix it. Due to the preventable nature and carelessness surrounding this event, I deem the failure to be classified as negligence. The construction was shoddy, the attempts to fix it were pathetic. The Versailles wedding hall disaster is a prime example of engineering at its worst. The underlying moral issue was the construction culture of making things as fast and cheap as possible. Corners were cut to keep costs down. Ironically, the result was a much higher cost in innocent human life. Sure, they were just trying to save a little money, but was the trauma worth it? As engineers, fixing this problem is our responsibility. It is our duty as Christians to make sure human life is preserved. How many of these people's lives were cut off early? How many of them were sent to hell because of an engineer's mistake? I challenge you to remember this story. Maybe it's worth taking the time to do the math. Maybe it's worth the effort. There are lives to protect. Don't fail them.